What is up YouTube? Matt with Chrome Donkey here again with another video. So if you're wondering what that humming is in the background, that is my air conditioned garage. You are welcome Bitcoin miners. So you can see those over there in the corner. That is remnants of what's, what once was a fun Bitcoin mining operation. You can see I've still got all my tubing in place and there's the one exhaust fan on the other side of the garage door opener. And essentially what that used to do is duct heat out of this giant box I built right there at that opening as well as picking up the exhaust heat from the two floor AC units piping it all the way out the front through the attic and essentially it would come right out those vents right at the top of the house but you're wondering what the heck does that have to do with Jeeps right so uh, we joined this project already in progress you may notice I don't have any rear fenders so what I'm doing, to give you guys an idea, and I'm going to go ahead and do the rear. I can't yet do the front because I'm still waiting on DV8 off-road. Bless their hearts. I, you know, I don't know how many more chances I can give these guys to get it right. Uh, but we're going on about half a year at this point, six months, and I still don't have my front inner fender liners. They just shipped me the wrong part. I talked to one of the guys. They're going to try to do it, you know, make it right and give me the right part. But that was Monday. They were supposed to ship the replacement out. Here it is Friday. It hasn't moved yet. And, you know, guys, if you're in the service industry, if you run businesses, please understand that customers don't care if you're busy. Okay. You need to treat every customer as if they were your only customer. And if you're that busy, hire more people. It's pretty simple customer service 101 okay off that soapbox though hopefully I'll get my front inner fender liners at some point but since I already have the rear DV8 what I'm doing is removing that black shroud that goes around the fender lip now if you see here are the fenders laying on this nice uh, packing blanket you can see one with the shroud still on one with the shroud removed and this is what I'm gonna eventually have to do to the fronts as well but I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the rears now when I get ready to reinstall these I'm gonna show you something that I picked up uh, from adventure the same place I got my uh, my front highline brackets for the front fenders that I still have yet to install because I'm waiting on those uh, front inner fender liners but I believe it's American Adventure um, I'll send a link in the description. I'll put that link down there in the description. But essentially, they're nut certs with the, pri the proper uh, washer basically to go right here where it would attach, where one of these cheap plastic ones would attach right in there to clip it back on. But these are going to be nut certs, so it's going to give it a much, much more rigid connection to the body of the vehicle. Because once you remove that shroud, you lose a lot of the rigidity of the flare itself. So the next thing I've got to do is go along and trim this with my uh, box cutter there, cut off all these little tabs, and then put them on once I install the nut certs and we should be good. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, this is the installation progress of the nut certs. This is actually really simple and I got this Smitty Built kit. So bear with me, I only have one hand. But essentially what you're doing, you're putting the nut cert on the tool, popping it in the fender, and then I'm gonna see if this will work. Hopefully, I can use the giant tread of my tire. <laughs> All right, so the phone is literally wedged in the tire. Hopefully you can see that, but you put a little force up against the fender. You squeeze it down, pop it loose, then you unscrew it. And that's literally it to do the nut certs. There's 13 on each side. A little bit of a time-consuming process but as you might imagine that's gonna be a lot better of a mount location than those stupid plastic clips so hang tight okay guys finished product on one side so much more clearance between here and there what I'm gonna do is come put the other one back on just holding it up there with my hand I'm gonna get a measurement between the top of the tire tread and where the fender actually hits but these things are on there super solid not going anywhere and to get an idea of the nut certs so you can see how they go in you've got the little got this washer 
held in by a hex nut going into the nutsert and this actually goes into the tabs where that plastic, that little white plastic thing would go before. So highly recommended. Love the mod, love the finished look. Um, tons more clearance. Come on, focus, there we go. Tons more clearance for those 39s. Highly recommended, I'm gonna do the other side. All right guys, that's a wrap. So definitely remove the shrouds. Gave me some more clearance for these giant tires. I'll post the before and after pic on the shroud clearance uh, measurement. <clears throat> But yeah, I think it looks really good and the front is gonna match as soon as I get to it. Again, like I said earlier, still waiting on the DV8. But yeah, I think it looks really good. Tons more clearance. It definitely makes it look bigger. Almost makes these 39s look a little small. Just kidding, they're still giant. But uh, but yeah, went in really nice. So you got the, the nice little washers. It's kind of almost hard to see because they're black, but there's got two little eyes that drop down in the OEM teeth of the fender. You've got the nice hex bolt that goes into the nut cert, and boom. I mean, they're not going anywhere. Super rigid. I love the design. The one thing I will say, when you get ready to cut these tabs off that are right here, be very, very careful. You can see right here made a little bit of a boo-boo but I mean you back up and it's hard to even notice but you got to be real careful when you're cutting that off with a razor blade or else you'll cut into the actual fender so looks good finished product on to the next one stay safe stay healthy everyone if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button like the video and stay tuned for more great content